I'm going to further explain plate tectonics and convergent plate boundaries in uh, Europe, specifically uh, in the area around the Mediterranean Sea. So we can just see from this aerial image uh, of the Mediterranean Sea, we can see the darker blues connotate deeper uh, depths in terms of the sea, and of course lighter colors uh, are going to be more shallower. So we can see a trench right through here. And what's happening is the African plate as we've talked about beforehand, is slowly but surely moving, um, and it's moving and colliding with the Eurasian plate. And we can see that collision right there in terms of creating that particular trench, but that's also formed uh, this particular island, uh, but we could also say the island of Cyprus, as well as uh, uh, a lot of the ruggedness of, of the Balkan Peninsula. Uh, but other characteristics we have regarding plate tectonics and convergent plate is we can expect uh, earthquakes and volcanoes. And what do you know? We've got both of those in the case of Italy. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on in Italy. So once again, we go to our convergent plates. We can go to our plate tectonics. We can see right through here, right through the Mediterranean is the African plate. Uh, the African plate colliding with the Eurasian plate. Uh, so here we have that plate collision. Now the case of this particular area of Italy, the old world famous boot, is it's not really complete. Uh, this is a lot more going on. This is a general model of the big plates. There's a lot of smaller plates, a lot more complexity than what this might showcase. So let's try to understand a little bit more about this particular recent uh, uh, earthquake that happened in August of 2016 in Italy. So right there, the star is the epicenter. And we've got these, the Apennines, these mountain chain that runs right through the main, the boot or the leg uh, of the boot of Italy. And we can see here, we've got our convergent plate boundary. I've already mentioned that trench beforehand. But if we continue this red line on, that would actually correspond with the Dineric Alps and the ruggedness we see on this one side of the Adriatic Sea, which I've already described. But then we can see the line continues. We have another area of convergence right here along the boot of Italy. So essentially what's going on here is very complicated, but we have the Eurasian plate over here the Eurasian plate over here in a small little microplate that extends up from Africa, from the African plate that extends up through here that's essentially getting sandwiched. So in the next, oh, 20 to 30 million years, the Adriatic Sea will be no longer as essentially this plate here, this particular microplate, this particular area of the Eurasian plate moves this way, moves left to right or west to east. And so what's happening is is this plate here is being forced underneath, thus convergence, subduction. So the microplate, the Adriatic plate, is being forced underneath where this red line is. And whenever we have plates that are colliding, eventually that tension can be released, triggering, triggering an earthquake. Now, at the same time, there's also earthquakes happening in large amounts over here on the other side because we got the same thing going on in which the Adriatic plate, this microplate from the African plate, which is being forced underneath the Eurasian plate. So it's essentially getting squished from both sides as it's being forced under and thus creating earthquakes uh, but also this rugged terrain on both sides of the Adriatic Sea. So what I can do is I can then also I can kind of uh, put in the historical seismicity, and that just means where do we see a lot of earthquakes, where do we see a lot of stuff showing up on the seismographs, and we can see, once again, along the convergent plate boundary, particularly along this particular area, but also here along both sides of the Adriatic Sea, Adriatic sea where we have subduction occurring uh, along that microplate. Now let's go to another particular area of the Italian boot, in which we have the only active volcano on the actual mainland of Europe. And to do that, we'll go ahead and we'll zoom in. It's a famous one, and it's called Pompeii, and the mountain is Mount Vesuvius. So here, once again, we've got subduction occurring. That Adriatic plate that I mentioned before, and that microplate's being forced underneath the, essentially the Italian, uh, the, 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 the Italian landmass, the Italian boot. And so what it does is that then that material gets forced down, where it gets heated up, and then it comes back up as, uh, as a, a volcano. In this case, we have 
have a perfect, what they call a strato volcano. And almost a perfect conical shaped uh, volcano is uh, Mount Vesuvius. And so essentially it blew off its top. And in AD 79, essentially buried much of the particular area, Pompeii, and then nearby um, town essentially buried it alive and so what that did is now allowed an archaeologist to then go back over later in time essentially remove the ash now we get to see well what was life like in uh, a old city state in the Italian peninsula in AD 79 well it was essentially preserved underneath the ash of Europe's only active volcano